his level of competitive engagement on the defensive end, but now he's going to have to play very smart basketball defensively, and they too will attack him. So Paul George at 6'8", 220 pounds, just squares up. Derek Jones, I'm not even sure if it was, but Kyrie knows he needs Luka in the right space. Paul George, good aggressive move. So he's got a three-pointer and one at the rim. A good start for Paul George. Wanting to get Paul George on the move against this Dallas Mavericks defense. He's already got two. George gathers, gets inside, counted, and a foul. Paul George took the hit, still got it to go, and a chance for a three-point play. If you're Steve Ballmer or any L.A. Clippers fan from Paul George, he's been aggressive off the ball, now here on the ball. Josh Green just opens up his stance a little bit, allows him to get by. Plumlee trying to poke it away. This game is off to a very physical start. Westbrook tries a three-pointer. It's good. Westbrook did not hit a field goal in game three. Excellent. Excellent defense, just better offense from Paul George, who already is in double figures. The balance of Paul George's game can play off the ball, can self-create. The little nudge on Exum to create separation. May have got away with one there. Got a full extension, Doris. Percent from the field. Irving blocked by Plumley, picked up by Powell, throws it ahead, thread the needle a man, back up top, George, three-pointer, got it, Paul George lighting it up here on the first timeout, Mavericks, he's got 13 points, and a 16-point lead. If you start with your defense, and you get out and transition, and run, so often you get an excellent look, particularly in three, so Powell gives it up wisely, the pitch out, and Paul George is four for 20. Against everybody else, Luka's been fine. Paul George, another three. Puts it in! Paul George on a mission here in the first quarter. These are the type of shots that you're comfortable taking, much less making. Josh Green just in his... Irving. Stolen by George. Gets into the paint. Finds Terrence Mann. Shot clock at four. George, another three. Another one goes down. Luca's taking an absolute physical beating, you're saying? Yes. He's staying in the game with three fouls. Paul George again. 26 first half points. Eric Jones, an excellent defender, guarding Paul George. Shot clock at five. The give and go. George throws it back out. Terrence Mann, a good look. That's good. JJ, when, yes. that, when that kind of play happens in traffic on a rebound, though, do you think it's an offensive foul as Mann gets a big answer? Then it should not be a foul on the defensive player. As Paul George gets it inside to Zubats. So when the... Determining if it's an offensive foul, defensive foul, or no foul at all. It's all about the defender's pathway. Just six turnovers here in the third quarter for L.A. Irving. Poked away by Paul George. Final minute. Irving lost the ball. There's Paul George. Goes to Cleva. Nice Euro step. And banks it home in a foul. George finally gets a bucket here in the third. In transition, sometimes in the half court, offensive players decelerating, which takes the defense out of position. This deceleration, Euro step from Paul George, and a ridiculous. Comes up short. He was, he's upset. He thought he got fouled. George stumbles a bit, but hangs on. Harden, his floater, up and good. Just trying to take away and simply taking what the game gives them. Irving blocked from behind by George. Seven on the shot clock. George goes in the corner, falling away. Oh, it's good. Paul George from downtown. He is absolutely at a ridiculously difficult angle behind the backboard when he releases that with a excellent defender right in his face. A, a terrific contest from Derek Jones.